What's up, YouTube? You know, my followers are just begging for some new content. I've been slacking lately. Uh, so here you go. I just upgraded griddles to the Blackstone 36-inch Pro Series. I had the uh, standard 36-inch earlier. This one comes with the uh, hood. Uh, some drawers and cabinets. It's got a paper towel holder, trash sack holder, and then a nice magnet right here to stick your spatulas on. What I am gonna do is show you how to season this griddle. It's a lot like cast iron, but uh, these griddles are the new hot thing, and I figured this could be helpful to some of you guys. All right, let's do it. All right, so your very first step is we're gonna wash this griddle with uh, soap and water. This is just to get any nastiness from the factory off of your cooking surface. Um, and they're stored in warehouses and stuff like that. You never know what's been crawling around. Um, and I will notate, this will be the only time you'll use soap to, uh, to clean this. After that, you're gonna uh, just use water boil it that'll sanitize everything and then you always make sure you uh, grease her down afterwards so it doesn't rust now this isn't actually cast iron it is rolled steel but we are going to season it a lot like cast iron and it's going to become naturally non-stick step one complete all right, step two. I have turned the propane on full blast on all of these knobs. We are just going to burn it. Anything that's on it now, we're just gonna burn it off and let that uh, top get nice and hot before we apply our first coat of oil. You might see a little stuff smoking. That's just leftover materials from the manufacturing. So we'll let that heat up for, you know, I'm probably gonna let it heat up for five, 10 minutes, and then I'll check back before uh, we apply our first coat of oil. All right, you can see it's starting to discolor. I don't know if you can pick it up on the video, but it's smoking. That's a good thing. A few things you're gonna need. You don't have to have these shop rags, but they are lint free and that's important. You don't want uh, paper towel particles, you know, infusing into your surface and then chipping off your uh, finished coat. Some oil, this is a big discussion. What oil to use? Well, Blackstone says use any oil with a high smoke point, so this is vegetable oil uh, or canola oil i can't remember but they make special oils for seasoning griddles um, but i think it's mostly just to make a little money and then a heat proof heat proof glove is always helpful because we're going to be rubbing oil around that hot surface and then a pair of tongs and uh, i'm going to give this just a little bit longer before i apply the first coat but we'll check back. All right, it's been about 15 minutes and it's still smoking a little bit and you can see how dark this thing has gotten. And I haven't even applied a single coat of oil yet. But I think I'm gonna, so I'm gonna go with that first application. So what I do is I'm just gonna put a, a drizzle on the top and then take my paper towels and just wipe that all around. You want to hit all the corners. You want to hit the sides. You just get a nice thin coat of oil over the whole thing. And uh, be careful. Your papers might start to burn. But uh, yeah, you'll let it go until uh, 
it stops smoking. And then you can uh, repeat this step as many times as you like. I think I'm gonna do about three, at least tonight. And then, you know, as you cook on it, it kind of self seasons. And then one other thing I have found when doing this, don't throw your paper towel straight into the trash can. Those sons of guns are hot and you could potentially start a fire. But I'm just gonna let that uh, oil smoke off there and then repeat. All right, I'm gonna go with round two. It looks like all the oil's burnt off and it was pretty much done smoking. You want to, you don't want the oil to pool up. You want to coat it thinly and then soak it back up. Get that back side, all the top edges. And also, don't be worried that your corners in the front isn't getting discolored. I can tell you from my previous griddle, it will. Just the more you cook on it, uh, the more seasoned it becomes. I'll let this burn off and then we'll do it one more time. All right, final go. You can start to see how shiny that's getting. That is making this griddle uh, non-stick, uh, just like a good cast iron pan or a Dutch oven that you might use. Um, this makes it so you have to use very little oil or butter when cooking on it. And, you know, cooking eggs and pancakes and stuff like that. Uh, you have no sticking issues whatsoever. But, uh, yeah, it's looking very good. I'm very pleased with how it's looking so far. And uh, we'll finish up this, this last go on it and call it good. Maybe sometime here soon, I'll uh, do one of my favorite Blackstone recipes on here. But uh, that's it guys. Appreciate you watching. Smash that like button for me. See you later.